ever since I set up my solar shed, I've been trying to find a way to cool my solar shed. And um, I've searched on eBay for thermostat, and um, I was able to find one, but um, I wasn't too pleased with it because it didn't have any programming function. Well, while doing my research, I discovered something which is very unique and I want to share it with you guys. What I have right here um, is a set of 12 volt batteries and I have a little cooling fan right there and I have right here an AC thermostat Honeywell H AC thermostat and what I'm attempting to do right now is to use this thermostat to actually control my cooling fan so I want to use this thermostat to control my cooling fan being that my shed is very hot which is where my solar system is I want to engage the thermostat when the temperature goes above 80 degrees Fahrenheit so here's what we have working with right now this is just something I wrote up right there and what I'm attempting to accomplish is that I have a battery right here and I have a cooling fan right here and this is my thermostat which has a relay in it. In it. Alright, so what I want, if the temperature goes above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the relay closes and electricity can flow. If the temp falls below 90 or at 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the circuit opens and current stops. Thus, the fan turns off. So, um, my wiring diagram, as you can see, the negative terminal of the battery is connected directly to the negative terminal on my fan. The positive terminal on the battery is actually going to one of the terminals on my relay switch, and then um, the other terminal of my relay switch is actually going to my battery. So think about the relay switch as just a regular inline switch. So all I'm doing with this Honeywell thermostat, AC thermostat, is use it as an inline switch to control my cooling fan right here. So let's just demonstrate what I have right now. Looking at my battery, it's the same thing I was showing you a while ago. Um, there are two terminals uh, right now um, going to my thermostat or my relay. One terminal is going to the positive terminal of the battery and the other is going to my relay. So it's the same thing I was explaining right here. The positive terminal of my battery is going to my relay and on the other side of the relay the positive terminal is actually going to my fan. So that demonstrates what I have right here connected. One terminal, one positive terminal is going to my battery and the other is going to my fan. So just think about this relay uh, just as, as an inline switch. So when this relay closes, the circuit closes and it completes the positive terminal which enables this fan to complete the circuit going to my battery and the fan will run. So right now my thermostat is on 83 uh, or the temperature in my kitchen right now is 83 degrees Fahrenheit. So. I'm going to just demonstrate what is going to happen. I've already done the connection inside, connecting the um, the terminals, the positive terminals, um, to my relay switch inside the thermostat. So let's bring the temperature down and see what happens. I'm going to bring it down to about um, eight, um, 79 degrees Fahrenheit just to go ahead and engage, and, and engage this relay. Look at that. There it is. 
the circuit closed and the fan is indeed working and the amazing thing about it is that this fan or this thermostat is not a DC thermostat it's an AC thermostat but it's, it's controlling a DC circuit because as I said before all I'm using this thermostat to do is to control um, my positive terminal and it's acting as a switch so because the temperature fell below um, the room temperature which is 83 the fan the circuit closes and the fan turns on now watch live while I raise the temperature on my thermostat as you can see right there the fan is spinning so let me raise the temperature just so you can prove it to you I want you to see this live so you can see what I'm talking about note I'm using an AC thermostat to do this so let's raise the temperature let's, let's take the temperature up and take it up to about 86 it is H or 89 and watch this this fan should stop spinning there we go it does work so therefore you can use an AC thermostat to control a DC fan and this is amazing because I happen to have this AC thermostat um, just sitting around not doing anything and um, here I can use it and, and not only that this is also a smart thermostat which means it can be programmed um, to come on at different times so this is going to work well in my solar shed so I want to demonstrate this one more time the room temperature is 83 and let's bring the temperature down one more time let's bring it down to about 78 all right and watch this guys this is no trick this is showing I'm showing it to you live right now just watch that note that there is a delay because normally this thermostat is used with compressors with AC compressors and normally there is delay so um, it's taken a few minutes to engage but just watch this it's taken a few minutes for the relay switch to close so just watch it right now and this is important if this if, if this thermostat was connected to uh, an AC um, heat pump then you'd want to have that delay going to your compressor so you won't burn up your compressor but just watch that there we go guys as you can see the, the, the delay cycle has completed and the fan is indeed spinning so as you can see this works using an AC thermostat with a DC fan hooked up to a 12 volt battery so this is wonderful guys so I hope this helps someone if you are looking in, um, into finding a way to cool your solar shed hey you can just go and pick up just a regular AC thermostat and hook it up to your 12 volt source and use it to control your shed so let's just bring the temperature up once more just so you can see it live is going to turn off because I'm going to raise the temperature above the room temperature right now so watch this live watch this live guys there it goes it turns off so let me just show you my wiring diagram once more I have a 12 volt battery right here the negative terminal of the 12 volt battery is going to the negative terminal of the fan the positive terminal of the fan is going to one of the poles on my relay switch on my thermostat and then the other pole of my relay switch is connected to my battery when the temperature goes above 90 degrees which I have it set to then this relay switch closes and causes current to flow on the positive terminal to complete the circuit thus the fan will spin so you can do the same thing in your application 
and I'm going to show it to you slowly so you can record it if you want to use this in your application and know that I'm using a, an AC thermostat in a DC circuit. I hope this helps someone and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.